Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to Fort William Save. I spent a few... It's taken a while, boys, but we've got a team. I, okay, I've, I may have overspent a tiny... Just a tiny amount. Um, the budget has extended a little bit to £807 a week. It's, it's, not, it's not that far off doubling, is it? The problem is, anybody that's not good enough to be in the team is... I can't sell, because nobody else wants them. No offence to anybody from the team that's watching. Um, so we're getting rid of a couple, a uh, half sort of decent player there, and and six others, but they're all on 25 quid a week, which is 100, it's 200 quid a week there. You know, and that, that takes a chunk off, just over double then. Um, but we, it's kind of, we had to do it. What The way I did this, basically, guys, is I... We've got a couple of scouts. I'll take you. Through. I'll show you the the staff briefly. Look, best best scouting team in the entire league, made up entirely of amateur contracts that aren't getting paid. Look at that. Look, four judging player ability and five potential. That's what I'm talking about, lads. This is the level. I will introduce you to our man, our assistant manager, uh, Barry Layton. Um, apologies for any Scottish people. I will be murdering Scottish club names. You just have to. Suck it up, basically, because <laughs> all of my channel is however I pronounce something is then how exactly it is pronounced. OK, so he he was the best we could do, boys. So, yeah, um, but we've got a few players. We've, we've got about maybe two coaches that are actually paid. Everybody else is on amateur contracts just to sort of keep the money down and to be honest, that's the all they would take anyway but it's it's decent i'll take it if we look at the competitions boys season preview which does adapt based on signings and stuff we're not bottom anymore 200 to 1 to win the league uh it's, it's worth a quid i reckon but let's take you through the transfers yeah so the way i did it was i basically went on to the to the player search cuz we're never going to scout enough players in quickly enough to basically build a squad. So I just, there was about a list of about 50 players. Wasn't that many that were available on a free and willing to join my club or any sort of interest. So basically what I did is invite them all for a four week trial. And therefore instantly you get, you know, the scout reports on them. You can see how they play in the friendlies and all that. We did a load of friendlies so I could get to see the players and stuff. And then we did the transfers based on that. So rather than take you through this list here, because there's a number, we're going to build the first heat, first squad today. We are playing, I think, Bucky Thistle we're playing first, which is an excellent name. Away, you know, we did well in the friendlies. We we played lots of local teams, to be honest. Uh, just to, I don't know how... We didn't play that in any stadium, which is interesting. Just in a field somewhere. Um but let's build a squad, boys. So we've got a new goalkeeper, 38. One of the trialies was, uh, trialists was 53 years old, got, and I was tempted, but he was, he was terrible. Uh, John Campbell is our new goalkeeper, veteran John Campbell. He's played, oh, he's played for us twice. <laughs> Hibs, there you go, Hibs. You know, big name that is, boys. I can't believe he's played for us. I didn't even see that. Okay, so he's welcome back to the club. Club legend, John Campbell. Um, and he's like, he's a decent, I'll change these attribute colours to sort of more match our level soon, but, uh, he's a decent player, decent all rounder. There's no massive weaknesses, you know, five, I would, okay, throw in, uh, I'll just move on, <clears throat> but he's better than Ross McCallan, who's our backup goalkeeper, who is, who's a, who's a new gen. So we're going to go for him at right back. We're going to go with sort of pretty standard counter-attacking 4-4-2, uh, direct counter-attacking. We'll, we'll mess with the rolls a little bit as well. Um, at right back, we've got a couple of options. A more a more attacking option is Barna Tot, who's one of the OGs. Uh, but he's good pace, and I think he's probably better going forward. Uh, good long throw in him, which could actually be really useful. And we've got, but we've got Danny O'Halloran. Halloran, Halloran, Halloran. Who's tackling and marking is very good. Good pace, natural fitness, acceleration, five-star potential, boys. Some of these players, and, you know, we've overspent a little bit, but it was very hard because there was nobody, I think maybe one player that we approached actually would accept an amateur contract not getting paid. Everybody else, pretty much guaranteed, wanted 30 quid a week. 
I could only offer them 25 quid. So pretty much every player, 25 quid a week with a 25% sell-on fee. But there's a couple of these youngsters that I actually, maybe we could sell for a few grand, like this this being one of them. Yeah, you know, it's got really good physicals. So we're going to go straight in O'Halloran. And then at left back, we have the option. Oh, there's one player in particular I've got to show you. He's got like proper big numbers in, in certain attributes. Lewis Stacey on loan for Montrose, who's decent tackling. Not, not the best physically he could do with building up. But we only have to pay this guy five quid a week. So basically that was the main reason. Is it Ovenstone? Look at, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. 16 heading, 18 long throws. Not ideal for a centre-back. 20 determination. Look at the numbers. It's 35 years old. You know, he's not the quickest anymore. Veteran centre-back, though. I couldn't believe it when he chose to join us. Uh, he's been all over the place. He's played for some decent sides. So, I'm very... He was playing for Cowden Beath last season. Okay. Uh... Okay, season before last season. He's had a year off, but that's fine. <laughs> it's a gap year. Um, so we're going to have him in, the experience. And David McGurk, who is our superstar man to begin with, um, joined us this season. So we're going to go with McGurky. Okay, boys. At right midfield, we've got Barna Tot, who we looked at before. Ross King, new signing, 19 years old. Very happy to be here. Good pace. Physicals are... So important at this level. If you can, if you've got a guy that can run about a lot, that is really important. We don't, you know, two passing and four crossing. End product might be, <laughs> end product might be lacking. But again, he's another nineteen-year-old. There's a bit of potential there. Played for the mighty Selco. He's Rangers. There you go, Rangers. He used to play for. He didn't play for them, but he was there. He saw the stadium, so it kind of counts. Uh, we also have Lloyd Hester, who's on a youth contract, five quid a week. Amazing hairstyle. Um, he's a sort of solid all-rounder, but can play in centre mid as well. And we have Chris Benzi, another youngster. Decent amount of pace on this right-hand side. I think we're going to go with Ross King to start with. On the left-hand side, we're a little bit weaker. Um, oh, I forgot, I forgot to tell you one. Hang on. There's, there's a staff member that I just love the name of, right? Our scout. His name's Willie Folds. It's like a nickname you'd give your scrotum. Isn't it? Or your foreskin. Oh, Willie Folds. So he's a, he's one of our new scouts. Try to just popped into my head. Okay. On the left-hand side, we have the option of Willie McDonald. On loan from Ross County. Again, decent physicals. Not bad. Lots of 8s, 7s, 8s and 9s. And a few decent mentals as well. I think he's going to be a decent player. And he's left-footed. We don't have many left-footers in the team. And then we've got Chris Benzie. As we saw, Paul, he's right, but we he can do a job on the left. We, we can't be that. Beggars can't be choosers. We've got Paul Munro, who can play on the left as well, but he's also he doesn't actually play left midfield. He's more of a centre mid option. So a little bit lacking. Chris Benzie's going to be the main guy as backup for us on the left-hand side. Up front, I'm really pleased. I'm really, really pleased with this. We've got some experience in Michael Ellis. Um, 12 finishing. Okay, three first touch. He's got the first touch of Lukaku, but composure eight and decent amount of pace and acceleration. He's he's a natural in no roles whatsoever, <laughs> any position. He, apparently, he's not a natural footballer, which seems a bit harsh. He's been here for three years now. Um, he's wanted by a bunch of teams. And then we've got the other experience, the, another new guy, Craig McKillen, McMillan, um, who I actually think prob might be... Up there with our best strikers. 11 finishing, 12 first touch. Not the most composed, but still a decent amount of pace for an oldie. Um, heading is 10 as well. Jumping reach 9. Not too bad at all. And he actually is a natural striker, which is good. But then we got the two young uns. And very excited about these two guys. We've got Joe Johnson, 19 years old. Um, 12 finishing, 12 pace, 13 acceleration. Very much off the ball is really good as well. Very much uh, hopefully just score goals. The rest of it, maybe not. Anticipation's a tiny bit low at three, but not too bad. Then we've got uh, Jamie Doherty, an 18-year-old, even younger. And this guy looks pretty special. Again, not the most composed anticipation, but can dribble the ball. I think he might be the only player that we've got that can dribble. 
Finishing is very, very good, though. Eight first touch. Uh, not the quickest, but still only 18 years old. These two got big things. I think we kind of we might go with one experience, one of the new guys. Um, and then in centre mid, we've got Scott Chisholm, a passer of the ball. You, some would argue, my friends, even potentially a deep-lying playmaker, apart from the off-the-ball and anticipation and balance. Other than those things and vision other than those things the potential of a deep line i didn't see we didn't think we'd see a deep line playmaker so i'm quite excited about that we've got james mcshane 23 years old <clears throat> kind of a solid all-rounder really and then we've got monroe who we already looked at and we've got uh, lloyd hester another guy in a youth contract he's the lovely haired dude more of a right midfielder but can fill in at centre mid so there's a few little areas that could be strengthened but We've got to be a bit careful of the money. Let's have a look at our projection. Is it, we're already seven grand, right? You know, I've not spent any money on transfer fees or signing on fees. Just running the club has put us seven grand in debt. Okay, 55 grand. Oh, you know what? I probably would have taken that. I did give them the low bonuses for both league and cup. We got a cut corner somewhere. We spent the money on wages. I think we go with... We're going to go with McMillan. And <clears throat> he's not bad heading, jumping, reaches all right. One balance, Jesus. A small gust. It's going to be quite windy there as well. A small gust might blow him over. Do we go with one of the OGs? Good acceleration, good agility, pace. One technique. Okay. Um, I think we go with one of these youngsters. Let's have, actually have a compare. Joe Johnson and Jamie Doherty. Um, just to see. So we've got Jamie Doherty. Slightly better technically. Better vision. But Joe, Joe Johnson's a little bit more attacking focused. And aerially is a little bit stronger. Which might be quite important to be honest. Um, I'm not saying we're Tony Pulis in it. But we're there's, there's shades of Tony Pulis about us. I should have won a cap for this episode. But we'll go with you guys. Um, we'll put the other youngster on the bench. Munro can go on the bench. Uh, oh, we've got Stefan McRitchie, who is our number 10, just in case we want to vary it up a little bit. Really decent physicals, some of them. Uh, good first touch. He's mainly going to be here to play in central midfield if we need it. Um, Chris Benzie's already on the bench. So that's good. We're going to go... I think we go Chisholm and McShane. Richie can go on the bench. Um, Barmer Top can go on the bench. Daniel Crisp. Oh, yeah, hang on. Daniel Crisp. He's a, he's a nice player to have at this level when you've got a smaller squad. He can play both sides as a fullback. So I might keep him on the bench just because he's very good at everything. And we've got Nathan Baird. Um, another really decent youngster. <laughs> Three strength for a centre-back is... It's not perfect. Neither's five jumping reach. There's 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 small weaknesses in his game, um, but he's going on the bench. That's good enough for me. Uh, let's have a look at going to tactics now and just sort of see. Um, so who was who was our playmaker? It wasn't you. Okay, you go centre mid, and I'm going to go play. I'm going to make this guy a playmaker. All right, pinging balls out. Yeah, Chisholm, you've got this, mate. I believe in you. I know this is more of an advanced role, but don't worry about it. Um, don't want to go defensive. I think I do. Just let's go. Keep it simple for the fullbacks here, boys. <clears throat> and then oh, Overstone. Oh, he's, he loves. He loves a bit of stopping, doesn't he? Okay. Um, where's McGurk's natural position? Okay. It's weird when they have zero green anywhere. It's like. I, I don't know where to play, boss. I just have no idea. Um, Obiso, does he want to be a no-nonsense? Uh, what's his passing? Like six, visions three. Yeah, no-nonsense. We'll stick to no-nonsense there, lads. Uh, McDonald on this left-hand side. More naturally a winger. Um, God, four stamina. He, may, he might need to get subbed off a little bit. I think if we can get anybody else in, maybe another loney, we might go for another lefty. Uh, but that, that stamina is a slight issue. Okay. I think it's more that their attributes are so sort of well-rounded 
not necessarily in a good way, but whether he's a winger or, yeah, it's yeah. we'll go wide midfielder, give a bit more support. No, 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 no. Let's not be negative, boys. Okay, so up top we've got McMillan, who likes to be a poacher. I think pressing forward's optimistic. Um, I think they're all going to be bloody poachers, aren't they? It might not be a bad thing. If we're playing slightly longer ball, which we which we are, um, but these guys, yeah, sits on the shoulder. Of, let's should we go double poacher? Go on then, go on. Let's treat ourselves. Just there, eight people defend, right? Or nine with the goal. Oh no, sweeper keeper, steady on. Um, nine people defend, com just compact, nice and tight. Get the ball. Hoof it forward. Hopefully, the Johnson and McMillan will be on the last line of defenders. Hoof the ball over the top. Goals galore. Yeah. <clears throat> um, lower defensive line gets stuck in. I don't mind. We've got to be careful with fitness. We're only a part-time team, so we don't really want to be tiring out. There's not that much training involved. So, uh, do we want to get stuck in? Yes, yeah, lower leagues, isn't it? You got to get to the rules. Got to get stuck in. Now. I think that's what we got to do. Oh, I'm, I'm getting Pulis vibes here, but we can, I think we'll start with this and see how the see how the team does. Let's go normal tempo and cautious. Right, here we go, my friends. Our first ever Fort William game. <sighs> no idea. Oh. Having goalkeepers on the bench, that's so newbie. Goalkeepers on the bench, what a rule for it. Should be up to me. Um, I don't mind him because he can play both. Who's 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 leaving us? Who you are both centre mid? Right, definitely want Doherty, definitely want Benzi. Um, I like Tot, Crispy. Could be bad. We saw his lack of strength, maybe. That's not a goalkeeper, is it, Loki? That's clearly not a goalkeeper. That's All right, there we go. We're ready to go. <sighs> Good luck, everyone. Uh, lacking in match sharpness. Yeah, you play matches to get match sharpness. Game, what are you thinking? <clears throat> As we all know, the stadiums are not going to be representative of... The real life stadiums. Um, I'm sure when we play our first home game, it will be a massive multi story car park and concrete everywhere, where in reality it's absolutely stunning. I'm, I'm expecting. Oh, we've stressed, we've stressed, stressed him out already. Let's just go faith. Bit of Jesus juice. Okay, here we go. Bucky Thistle versus Fort William. <sighs> Remember, we're expected. <laughs> the minimum expectation is that we finish bottom of the league up by. So, and let's not go into this thinking that we're gonna tear the league a new one. Okay, in real life, twenty games played, two draws, eighteen losses, minus one hundred and twenty-seven goal difference. Okay, so that's that's the that's the bar we're aiming for. Okay, we're gonna beat that, and then it'll be successful. Um, do, 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 do. Bring that up. Notifications. No, don't want any advice. I know all the things. Um, don't want that, don't want that. Okay. Director, key highlights. Let's go for behind the goal. Let's go. Good luck, everyone. Looks like we're playing a rubbish Celtic. Match that bars. And we're going to go for... Um, we don't need the league table currently, so let's go for their formation. See how they're mixing it up. They've gone for a classic 4-4-2. <coughs> We're trading like for like, which is worrying. Their fitness is a little low, though, already. Starting the match. Okay, we've been dominated a tiny bit here. <coughs> What we've got to think of is in the save is like long long term. So we've got to, the ways we improve is going to be money. 
Money is the root of all evil and our salvation. So either some heroic cup run, which unlikely. The other version is that we might actually maybe have a couple of decent youngsters. We've signed a couple that could be worth, you know, 10 grand on a good day with a win behind them and all that sort of stuff. So there's a chance. But it's going to be interesting. I don't... It's going to be interesting. It's it's going to be a, the toughest challenge yet. I said, get to him, boards. Oh, okay. There's too many players all in one line here. I haven't really played with set pieces too much. Um, we'll I'll work on that in the next couple of episodes. But I didn't like nobody... He, this guy... <laughs> this guy <laughs> he's not moved the entire time. He's just like... Oh, you've got it. Oh, you've passed to him. That's good. Are you going to kick it in the goal? All right. <sighs> Who's that? Stacy. He, he's a he's a defender as well. I think that's the worrying part. He's only 17. This is probably his first ever game in football. Yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> he doesn't know the rules. He thought he was offside. I don't know. All right. We haven't given up too many chances, like decent chances. So not too bad. I'm not going to go in disappointing. I'm going to go happy. All right? I don't go full Hitler until maybe like 10 games into the season and then I unleash the inner beast. I would like to see a chant, like a highlight that goes to us. We didn't necessarily... You know, small baby steps. I'm not expecting a goal, but I'd like to see us maybe attack once. Here we go. McDonald. Lovely little turn. Stacy just kind of lumps it. They're playing very defensively, aren't they? They've got two... Very defensive central midfielders. McShane, round the corner. I like the effort. Oh, little mistake. Go on, he's had a shot. The goalkeeper's not even used his hands. That's, that's fucking BMing, that, isn't it? He's just like, yeah, I'll save it. <laughs> Don't need me hands. We saw a highlight, though. Tick. Hit the woodwork, yeah? Right, fitness-wise, the lads are doing all right. Okay, let's give the Doherty another uh, a game. The other youngster, and you're still feeling out all the players, so we'll give Benzi a little bit of time and save one just in case. <clears throat> right, so we've got him exactly where we want him. One nil down at home. Hmm? We can do something. They're starting to get nervous, McShane. Stacy, Overs Over Ovenstone. His name is Ovenstone. Go on, Stacy. Go on, Stacy. Yes, good Edda. Like a young Rio Ferdinand. Ref, hello. Disgusting, disgusting. We're gonna see some mistakes at this level, lads. It's fair to say. Oh no, playing us at our own game. Ross nipples it down. <clears throat> Let's go. I'm gonna stick with. I'm not gonna go to. Uh, Oh, show some passion might have been a bit harsh, but that's going to fire him up. It always works, but 1-0 down in your first league. Is show some passion. Just seems a bit of a dick move. Go on. Unlucky. Good challenge. Benzi. Lovely ball. That's what we want to see. McMillan. McMillan, lovely ball inside. Oh, it's a decent save from Bell. That's more like it. That's exactly what we want. Right. Corner. Ovenstone. Ugh. Got to be the first man. McMillan, the striker. Good to see him doing his defensive duties. Chisholm. McShane turns. Have we got another shot in us? McDonald. Doherty. Munro clears the danger. Do we make our final sub? How's the fitness levels? Um, okay. We, I'm going to try something out. All right. Full back. It's a gamble. Attack and then push on this guy on to attack. Benzie's going to go push forward a little bit more. Maybe just to provide an extra attacking body up there. We did all right. I'm quite pleased. I think in real life terms, this would be a cracking result, a 1-0 loss. <clears throat> Bit of encouragement. They'll probably hate that. Oh, no, fired up. Come on, boys. Nick something. We've been the better team the second half. Okay, nothing happened from that. My super tactical changes there. That's fine. Hang on. Hang on. Benzie. Quickly. Hurry up, mate. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's come all, all right. I'm. I'll take that, boys. I'll take that. This will probably turn out when Bucky Thistle are like the shittest team in the league. Um, good effort. Good effort. I totally agree. Our first game as manager. I just want to know how bad or good Bucky Thistle are. Please be good. Please be. Please be like top half. Oh, fourth favourites to win the league. That's as good as a win. We should all get given a point for that. Just for the for the battling, for the fight. Right. There we go, my friends. We are done for another day. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for more fun action. We're going to play a couple of games. I want to, especially early on, I don't want to play too many games in between episodes. We've got to get to know the team and the players. You know, we're going to fall in love with these guys. We've got... Some teams, I was going to pronounce stuff, but then I decided against it. Uh, we've got teams coming up. We'll come back in a couple of games times. Remember to make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Go check out my other series and stuff. Let me know what you think of the sign-ins. Hey, what about this guy though, eh? Hey, what about this guy? I can't believe it. Can't believe it. He's like a proper footballer and everything. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.